Okay, now Quite. this is a mess, you know, I should cover it. <laughs> My name is uh, Winnie Davis, and I study fine arts at the University of Hong Kong. And I continue to uh, do my master's degree in design in Hong Kong Polytechnic University. I choose here for time. That was uh, actually uh, after the trip, I went to Beijing with my uh, sculpture teacher. Uh, we met all these uh, professors uh, from Central Academy in Beijing. and they uh, show us their home, like the villas at home, and all of them got a, their house and also a studio, you know, built next to their own home, right? And so huge, and they can do that, like in, in China, they can do that in Hawaii, very good facilities for the professors, so they can have their own sculpture studio there, all right? So that's how I have met, you know, all these uh, great masters and the uh, studios. That's why I thought, you know, whether I could do that in Hong Kong. Now, for time, uh, since it was like uh, late 1980s to early 90s, and the uh, Hong Kong government like built up this uh, uh, Fortan uh, area. Uh, actually, it was like a Fortan village in a in a village uh, uh, area only, very rural area. But then uh, Hong Kong government like get that piece of land to change it to like a industrial area. But there were so many buildings, it's more than 35 buildings in in four time alone, and all are industrial buildings. By year 2000, um, all this industry already gone to uh, China. And then we've got so many those empty units. And then, so it started from actually one or two artists uh, came to whole time and they use them for themselves, you know. And then of course, they found this area, you know, like each unit about 1000 square foot is quite big for Hong Kong standard, you know. Because like average size in Hong Kong, even uh, residential uh, units about only 200 square foot, and then two to 200 to 500 square foot only. And then talking about 1,000 square foot uh, units just for art, that's just a luxury. It's for word of mouth, you know, like, you know, everyone know this area, and then so that's how I get to know this area as well. But we got artists from other countries come to Fort Town as well. So we got uh, Australia, America, Finland, from Belgium, Holland, everywhere, and come to four time to have their uh, art studio as well. So it become uh, international well known. And I just came in 2006, it was totally empty, nothing, uh, not even electricity, no decoration, nothing here. So that's why the idea you know, for me, I can you know really do something, which I can do my own decoration, have my own idea, because this is like an industrial building, have a very high ceiling, and then I can really, put uh, big paintings on the wall. I call this Joy Art Club. It's like uh, having fun and it's an art club, you know, for me, you know. And then I also, uh, like every Saturday at the end, I let other artists come to share my studio as well. So I have those workshops here so they can come here to practice live drawing. You have been like picking up your pencil since you were three or four years old and till today, so what makes you continue in doing it? And is your like, family supporting you? Like, I mean, in Hong Kong, people always go for law or business as their major. Like, you choose art and design. So can you tell us a little bit about this? I think it was just like natural. I just like art, you know, since uh, I was young, right? That's what I think I always want to be an artist. And actually, uh, my mom, the, the, you know, those kind of older generation, they didn't think of it, you know, uh, they have to, you know, pursue, you know, to do the art or anything, but um, and they don't even uh, not not pushing me or doing anything anyway. So that's why I got the freedom, you know. I mean, they don't really like encouraging, but they don't discourage, you know, in that kind of idea, you know. My my parents, they're not, they're not like typical like Hong Kong people pushing them to uh, study uh, uh, study business or, or or all kinds of things like this. They get quite laid back, you know. I think things has also been changed a lot, like mm -hmm. you know, after like decade, um, we have so many. Well, not so many, but we do have some schools here, like they offering art and design majors as well. Um, you also graduated from Hong Kong U and Hong Kong Poly U. Um, so can you talk about, you know, like some majors that they offers, or the majors that you went to, and also the ones that you work with now. So actually, uh, I was lucky to get in uh, 
uh, Hong Kong U to do the uh, fine arts degree and the undergraduate. I realized actually it was quite important for an artist to study that and actually study the uh, history of art, uh, the, the meaning of art, and do some research on it to understand art. That is more important for an artist's uh, development, not just the skill or anything, uh, the technique or anything, but also to understand the meaning of art and to, how to express yourself in art. And then I continued to do the uh, Polytechnic University, and then so I kind of learned the, the technical side, you know, the, the technology, you know, IT, and all, you know, everything going to IT, so that combined with IT and fine arts, so I learned that as well. So that is important for me as well, you know, you can use both for my art, you know. How about the ones that you are working with right now? Yeah, and then now I'm carrying on like um, teaching the uh, Sundaland University, the uh, BA in graphic design, and then I found that it's very useful. I have learned I can teach my students because uh, the Sundaland University, the BA in graphic design, my students are studying in Hong Kong, but the degree uh, is uh, over. So they will uh, have the same, you know, degree. And then all the uh, curriculum uh, we teach them is all followed exactly the same as UK. The in graphic design composed of the two uh, different parts. One is called the design project, and the other side is a research phase. So this is a dissertation. So then it's very important for uh, an artist now, especially for designer and everything, if they go gone to the higher level and they go gone to like just not just a designer, uh, even just uh, learning being a designer, you got to understand, you do the research, learning, understand the philosophy and the psychology of design as well to meet the client needs. And that's why it's important to learn that in the, to the academic side as well to kind of support uh, for a designer to go beyond the management uh, level. And then they can be like uh, art director and that kind of level as well. The good thing is the students in Hong Kong, they can study in Hong Kong much cheaper and then they don't have to go to the UK, but then they can get the same qualification. Well, I think that's really one of the reasons like some of our kids, you know, from England, they apply schools in Hong Kong for a better or cheaper tuition fee. Mm -hmm. um, and also it's very close to mainland, right? It's been really competitive. You know? Yeah. Uh, they, they, they have to uh, perform good on their academic yeah. site, and also they have to create a really good portfolio yeah. based on their major. So yeah. that's competitive, it takes time. Yeah. yeah. You, you took me, walked around this area. So I saw a lot of like industrial buildings here, right? right? And then the artists came to this place. Mm -hmm. um, so where do you see this art community in 10 years? Since you've also been, you know, seeing its ups and downs. Mm -hmm. So where it goes in your perspective? I think now, you know, really the, the art market is going to do well. More young people see that art is a future in Hong Kong. So that's why I think more and more young artists will, will moving in in this uh, uh, four town village, and I say four, four town artists village. You know. So I think that's a great future. Not just uh, fine artists and also designer as well, or multi you know media uh, uh, artists uh, moving in as well. Because the art market actually leading uh, more in Hong Kong, they're getting more uh, kind of opportunities for artists to learn study art in Hong Kong as well. All the big you know, art fairs in Hong Kong, but they really start from Hong Kong. Like Art Basel, Art Central, Asia Contemporary Art Show, and all these uh, affordable art fairs all start from Hong Kong. So that leading uh, more opportunity for young people in Hong Kong to become uh, artists. And they could have more uh, exposures and selling their work.